Hello everyone, my name is Walt Peter Jean Philippe and I'm the technical product owner of Opalati Courseware, also known as Virtual Laboratories. Today I'm going to be presenting the FPGA based simulation of a dual active bridge converter or simply known as DAP converter. So, why is it important for us to be able to simulate the DAP converter in FPGA and what is Opal is currently offering as a solution to the market? that's going to uh, be beneficial for researchers that are working in DAP converters. So let's say as a researcher, you want to do NHL testing for a DAP converter. You're going to be facing two, two main challenges. First, the issue of having high resolution switching signal. And at the same time, you will need fast analog output. Currently, we are offering the solution OP48 series based on Xilinx Verso system on chip technology. So what is the advantage of the OP4815 and, uh, and that we are offering is that you can simulate your signal as low as 100 nanosecond time step. At the same time, it allows you to have an improvement in terms of FPGA modeling two times better than what we currently have in the, uh, in, in the market. And it offers in terms of speed, a fast input analog output as close to in terms of speed of 10 mega sample per second so which is very fast and will help overcome the challenge if you want to do HRL testing for a DAP controller. So what is this simulation that I'm going to be presenting later look like? So we model the DAP converter and using schematic editor which is another Opalati software. We use the latest electrical hardware solver for real time for FPGA simulation uh, which is EHL Gen 5 that allows us to simulate the system as low as 100 nanosecond. And the controller, we can be implemented either on Opalati target or on the controller that we currently have, which is the OP8066. So here I'm gonna switch to the to test drive, which is another Opalati software that helps visualize the signal for the model that we, we build on RT Lab in other Opalati software to run the system in real time and I will show the manipulation and the advantage of running the DAP controller on this Verso or OP4815. And the model that is we just described earlier, we're gonna show the result on test drive, which is the software from Opal RT, which helps visualize the signal from a model that we are compiling and running in real time using RT Lab. If we go quickly to the help to look at the model that we are looking at first let's this is the paper that we published together with a university in Germany if you want to more detail about the the challenges and this work beyond that result that you are presenting here you can take a look at the paper and this is the single phase shift that, that we are simulating we are controlling the phase shift between the, the primary and the secondary of the transformer which help us control the voltage at the output of the variable resistive load And behind the test drive, we have a live panel which help us controlling the different case study and scenario that we want to do for the DAB converter here. So let's say here we are in open loop. So that means we are not controlling, we are not imposing the VF. So it's just the phase shift that will decide what is the output voltage for the DAB converter. And here, if we see, let's say we want to achieve a if we were to want to achieve 750 at the output for a phase shift of 25 degrees, we still cannot reach it. That means we need to increase the phase shift. If I go to 7, so 37, we can see here we are able to achieve 750 in terms of the output voltage. And then if we move to a closed loop control, at a closed loop control, we don't have access anymore to the phase shift that we are imposing as an input parameter because now we are controlling directly the the uh, the view the view the view that we are imposing and the output which is a PI controller will give us the phase shift that will go to uh, to control the, uh, the, the 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 DAB that we are studying now. So let's say here we are imposing a VF of 800 volt, and we can see for a VF of 800 volt that we are able to follow the V out 
input voltage is able to follow the VUF that you are imposing. And if you want to have a more, a, a more complex uh, cases, let's say we are imposing the VUF, but we are switching it between a square signal that has magnitude between 700 and 750 volts. As we can see here, as this VUF is changing between 700 and 750 volts, the output voltage is following the VUF, and at the same time, the phase shift is changing so that it makes uh, the system adjust here. And also, we give access for the uh, to decide which signal to 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 trigger. So let's say we want to trigger with respect to the reference voltage, and we have to we want to switch with a voltage level of 700 volts. And let's run the trigger and stop to see what will happen. Now, when we run the trigger, we see the simulation stop because we trick the, the simulation, we trick the signal that we are observing. And now I'm in predefined control. Predefined control, that means behind the model, we are directly imposing the, the KP and KI for the controller as displaying here on the screen. Let's say if, if we wanna give access to the user to change the gain of the PI. So here I'm gonna switch to, K, to user control. And since I'm in user control, you can see by default, the KPKI that we are studying are not shown properly yet to be able to have the voltage at the output following the reference voltage that we are imposing. So that's one advantage of our having our OP4515 uh, latest uh, hardware is that here I will be able to show in real time or we can show the KP and KI controller so that we have achieved the voltage output that we want for this type converter. So let's say here we, we are going to increase the KI step by step and we're going to see the effect on the... So let's say we want to reach 75 and let's adjust the KPA a little bit. Now we see that the V output is following the, 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 v, the VRF that we are imposing. And again, we can see if we, the controller is not shown properly, let's say we start increasing the KP beyond the, the, the KP that will, will give us the, current, the correct output voltages. The more we are increasing the KP beyond its KP that, let's say KP optimal, so the more we'll see oscillation in the system, which indicate to us that the controller is not properly designed. Same thing if we go to increasing the KI beyond a certain limit, and we can see we'll have oscillation in the system, and we can go back to the predefined or optimal KI that lead to better control for the system. And by, by, by applying the trigger and tuning the KPKI, so we are able to, to find the proper value for the gain we need to apply. So let's say in a real, in, in a real life lab in example, you have a controller, you wanna tune the parameters. So we have the hardware and software for you that help you do those tests in a very fast way, in a very efficient way, while giving you accurate simulation results. And once you finish uh, tuning your parameter, if you want, you can turn off the trigger and let the simulation run and see what, and do different test cases. Let's say if we increase the VF here from 750 and we increase this one to 800. And if we move to predefined or user we can see that we are following if we do a trig again we'll be able to see that we are following the output voltage is following the input voltage that we are, we are imposing as a reference for the DAP controller this is the end of the of our demonstration thank you for watching it i hope you enjoy it for any more questions you can please contact us or visit our website at opalartsy.com thank you